Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and today we are here with the Cessna Citation Longitude and Beyond ATC. Now the trick with Beyond ATC is its current build it only supports um, commercial airliners as the call sign. So you guys are going to hear me referencing this aircraft as American 603. Um, again remember Beyond ATC is very early access okay um, so obviously there are some limitations to the software and that is one of them at this time being upon release obviously that's not going to be as big of an issue so without any further delay let's go ahead and get started we are going to be flying from los angeles on over to las vegas so stick around guys i hope you enjoy if you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides or simply interested in supporting the channel, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future guides that come along down the road. Patreon link can be found in the description below and thank you to all of my current subscribers. All right, you guys, real quick reminder, if you guys haven't already, please consider joining me on Patreon. It certainly does help support the channel and makes a lot of things that I do possible, as well as there is a tutorial guide for multiple aircraft assessment citation longitude being one of them. That guide will be updated before the end of this week, which is going to showcase a lot of the new AAU2 features um, and uh, therefore adjusting the guide to the new performance options that are available within this aircraft. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to step on downstairs here. We're going to check a few switches here make sure our generator switches are off. The APU gen can come off here. We're also going to do a quick cockpit check. Make sure our parking brake is set. Flaps are retracted. Engine switches are guarded. Spoilers are retracted. Throttles are at idle. Landing gear lever is down. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fuel the aircraft right now. And we are looking for 4140. Is about where we're looking here. Now, 4232 is going to be the close that we can get. I don't mind having a little bit over. And what's funny is you guys are going to see later on when we check the performance page after we sync up, it's actually going to be right about the 4140 pounds that we need, according to our flight plan from SimBrief. So we got the aircraft fueled. Oops, let's come down here. Standby battery comes to on. Come on, turn on. There we go. Left battery comes on. Right battery comes to the on position. We can turn on passenger safety sightings, seat belts, arm those emergency exit lights. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the anti-collision lights now because we're going to get the APU started very, very quickly here. You guys are going to find that uh, I'm going to crank through this pretty fast. We're going to be using the SimBrief integration to enter the flight plan. The cool thing about the, what it does in the Cessna Citation Longitude is it will actually load the entire flight plan at once. Um, let's go ahead and start out by getting our ATIS information with ATC first. Uh, shouldn't take very long. So let me go to my airports here on Navigraph charts. I know you guys can't see that, but I'm grabbing the ATIS frequency. ATIS we're looking at 133.8. Let's go ahead and step on down to the radios. So 1338. And again, we are using Beyond ATC. So let's listen up. 2-4, Departing runway 25 right. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Charlie. Los Angeles Airport Information Charlie 2153 Zoom Green 240 at 11 Visibility 10 Sky condition clear Temperature 24 2.18 2 Altimeter 2988 cool. Departing runway 25 right Advise on Okay Do a quick swap there and let's go ahead and contact uh, clearance and delivery and get our clearance information before we enter the flight plan. Clearance is 12035. Los Angeles clearance, American 603, uh, looking for IFR clearance to Las Vegas. Start the APU while we wait. American 603 Los Angeles clearance cleared to Reed Airport. Orca 5 departure with the Mycin transition, then as filed. Climb via SID except maintain 3000. 
Departure frequency 128.5. Squawk 6316. Cleared to Las Vegas using the read, or cleared to read using the Las Vegas. Uh, try that again. We have to wait for it to fail. I'm sorry, guys. I got a lot American on my mind. American 603, no. Away. Read back completely incorrect. Let's try <laughs> this again. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. Cleared to read airport via the Orca 5 departure with the Mycin transition, then as file climb via the SID, except maintain 3000, departure on 128.5, American 603. <laughs> American 603, negative. Squawk code oh. 6316. Squawk 6316, American 603. At least you know it yells at you. American 603, read back, correct. There we go. Contact ground 121.4 when ready for pushback. Contact ground 21.4 when ready for pushback, American 603. Gosh. I don't know what was wrong with me there. All right, let's go to flight brand. Oh, actually, no, let's go to sim brief. Los Angeles to Las Vegas. There it is. Import. There she goes. The entire thing is now loaded. Mm. I'm sorry, guys. Like I said, just having a rough time right now trying to trying to have a good flight today. Okay, so we've got our APU gen on. Did I ever turn the anti-collision lights on? Yes, I did. Okay, we've got our APU gen on. Let's complete the FMS setup. So we're going to go to our performance page, take off data, 25 right weather. Let's go ahead and set our wind. That was 2401 knots. 240 speed, or 10 knots, excuse me. Temperature was 24. Okay. Runway looks good. Final heading 251. Okay. Take off config, good. All right. Weight and fuel. Let's go ahead and get that all set up. Payload. We had 600 pounds of cargo today. Payload and passengers. Takeoff. Fuel on board. Let's do a sink. And look at it. Right on. Just about right where I needed it to be, but it's okay. Landing. We'll hold off on that. Fuel reserves 500. 30 minutes game. Home. And let's do. What am I looking for? Oh, let's set our takeoff trim. According to my guide and my chart, based on weight, we should be looking at about 3.1. I don't have my trim control set up, so we're just doing it manually. Watching the stabilizer trim at the top of the screen there. There we go. Oops. I think I hit something I didn't mean to hit. Speed bugs. Now what we can do here is go over to performance. Take off data. Here's our speed bugs. Let's go ahead and hit accept. We'll need to accept our uh, flap speed configuration here in a minute. But that is it. We are just about ready to go. So we've got our initial climb set. Let's go ahead and set those flight directors to on. Speed 180 knots, that's totally fine. That will work for now. We'll let the FMS control our takeoff speed. Flaps are currently retracted as we have everything disabled. So let's go ahead and start the engines here. So we're gonna hit run and the start switch on number two. And let number two begin to roll. And while that's doing that, we'll request our pushback. Ground American 603, ready for pushback and engine start. American 603, Los Angeles ground. Pushback approved. Face south. Pushback approved. Face south. American 603. Right gen on. Start that left engine. I love how fast this plane gets up and rolling, man. It just like... Takes no time at all, especially with that sim brief integration. I think the longest part is usually configuring the, uh, the flight plan. 
Oh, this is a short flight. This is a very short flight. So we have a cruise altitude of 370. I don't even think we're going to get that high. We might just barely make it, and then it'll be time for the top of descent, I guarantee it. We're just not going that far. Los Angeles to Vegas, and this thing is like half-hour flight. Right, gen on. All right, looking good. APU gen off. And we can shut the APU down. All right, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get us pushed back, and uh, then we'll get out for taxi. All right, so our pushback is complete. Let's go ahead and set flaps one. Turn our taxi light on. And let's request taxi to the runway. Ground, American 603, ready for taxi. American 603, runway 25, right taxi via Charlie 1, Bravo, Bravo 1. Taxi, runway 25, right via Charlie 1, Bravo, Bravo 1. American 603. I forgot the standby altimeter. I'm so used to hitting the B key. I, <laughs> admittedly, I cheat a lot when it comes to the altimeter. American 603, contact tower 119.8. Contact tower 119.8, American 603. Tower, American 603, approaching runway 25 right. American 603, Los Angeles Tower, Wien 240 at 11. R nav to Docker. Runway 25 right, cleared for takeoff. R nav to Docker, cleared for takeoff, runway 25 right, American 603. Easy girl. I'm all over the place here. There we go. That's better. Okay. Center our heading bug. Go ahead and turn flight level change on. And let's see here. What am I missing? There was something I was missing. That's what I was doing. Oh, auto throttle. Let's turn the auto throttle on. Now armed. Let's rock and roll. Airspeed alive. 80 knots. V1 and rotate. Okay, up we go. Positive rate, gear up. Approaching 180 knots, flaps up. That was a little early, but I'm gonna let the autopilot take over here. Nav mode engaged. Ready to activate direct. That's a 3000 like it was nothing. American 603, contact Sokol departure. Contact SoCal Departure American 603. SoCal Departure American 603 at 3000. American 603, SoCal Departure Radar Contact. Climb and maintain flight level 190. Climb and maintain flight level 190, American 603.
All right, and we set ourselves up for direct to kegs. So um, we reached our RNAV destination. So now we're gonna continue with the flight plan, which essentially is turning around. Now is the part where she climbs like a bat out of you know what. This thing just a screamer. I love it. I love it. I love flying the longitude. Get up to your altitude so freaking fast, man. American 603, contact Los Angeles Center on 119.95. Good day. Contact Los Angeles Center on 119.95, American 603. Thank you. American 603, negative. Contact Los Angeles Center on 119.95. Contact Los Angeles Center, 119.95, American 603. Los Angeles Center, American 603 at 19,000. American 603, climb and maintain flight level 370. Climb and maintain flight level 370, American 603. And this is the kicker. So we will literally probably get to our cruise altitude and be true. It'll be time to turn right back around and descend. All right, so we are at cruise, and like I said here, there is our top of descent right there. Less than uh, about 30 miles there, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can't uh, get our request going now. American 603 requesting descent. American 603, nice. descend via Rondras 2 with the Meissen transition. Las Vegas Airport landing runway 26 left, altimeter 2985. You send, descend via the Randers 2 with the Meissen transition. Expect runway 26 left, altimeter 2985 for American 603. Awesome. We can actually go ahead and start that now. All right, so we are below 18,000 feet. So let's go ahead and set our altimeter now. Two nine or eight five. Yep. Also load in our approach. Okay, approach is set. And let's see here. We're going to be looking at V speeds for landing. One, two, zero. And final reference of one, one, five. Okay. Set our ILS in case we decide to use it. And yep, 111.5. Good. Groovy. And now we're just waiting for the handoff to approach. American 603, contact Las Vegas approach 120.45. Contact Las Vegas Approach 12045, American 603. Las Vegas Approach, American 603 at 12,500. American 603, Las Vegas Approach. Go ahead. I told you. American 603 at 
12,500. American 603, Las Vegas approach, go ahead. Las Vegas approach. American 603, Las Vegas approach, go ahead. American 603, with you. American 603, Las Vegas approach, go ahead. American 603, Las Vegas approach. Las Vegas Airport altimeter 29085. Expect the visual approach runway 26 left. Expect the visual approach runway 26 left. American 603. There is the auto reply. All right, so we're coming up on a speed restriction of 210 knots now. We're below 10,000 feet. Landing lights are on. Altimeter is set. Flaps are set to flaps one. We're on our way in. We're still waiting on the approach to give us the vectoring around to the runway. Go ahead and center our heading here. I have noticed that the VNAV in the longitude currently isn't descending in a way that I've been very happy with. It's descending very, very shallow. Now, I know I can adjust the VNAV descent, but I found that flight level change is working just as well, if not better, in keeping me where I want to be. Um, I like to be at the bottom end of the approach plate. Versus up high on the higher end. So, like, for example, if you have an altitude restriction of, you know, between 11,000 and 8,600, I like to be at the 8,600 mark. I'd rather be lower than too high when on the approach. It's easy to level out and wait for the glide slope to come to you than it is to try to rapidly descend while maintaining speed and configuration. So that's just the way that I do it. But we should get some instructions from approach here coming up pretty quick. See, I mean, look how fast it descended down. I mean, we were we were pretty high in the path. It's just less comforting for me. I know there's going to be quite a few turns, so I'm going to set our speed down to 190 knots for now. American 603, turn right, heading 090. Descend and maintain 5,100. Turn right, heading 090, descend and maintain 5,100, American 603. Let's go flaps two. American 603, turn left, heading 320, descend and maintain 3,800. Turn left, heading 320, descend and maintain 3,800. You're going to turn the auto respond on. American 603, airport is at your one zero o'clock, one three miles. 
Report the field in sight. American 603, report the field in sight. There it is. We're going to use AI now. American 603, cleared visual approach, runway 26 left. Awesome. Cleared visual approach, runway 26 left. Approach mode. American 603. Oops. So the localizer. American 603. Contact Las Vegas Tower 118.75. Take care. Las Vegas Tower on 118.75, American 603. Take care. Here's coming down. Did we switch tower frequencies? Nope. What was that? 11875? Los Angeles Tower, American 603 on final for runway 26 left. Six zero three Las Vegas Tower, runway two six left, continue. Awesome sauce. Runway two six left, continue. American six zero three. Glide slope acquired. Let's get down to our reference speeds. American 603, runway 26 left, wean 230 at 11, gusts 19, -er, cleared to land. Runway 26 left, cleared to land, American 603. Awesome, dude. Freaking cool. And that AI voice is actually really awesome. It's kind of cool. Really comes in handy as the first officer. You guys see all the lag too? Like what the hell is going on? Something bad's happening here. Fifty. Oh, this is going to be a bad landing. Okay. Oh, I never mapped my reversers Not on this aircraft. Ooh. American 603, vacate right at Alpha 5. Vacate right at Alpha 5, American 603. Vacate right at Alpha 5, American 603. Ah, oh, I forgot to turn the auto off. I was going to do it. Be quiet, AI Mike. All right, you guys. Well, that was just a fun little fight flight <laughs> from Los Angeles over to uh, Las Vegas in the Cessna Station Longitude using some Beyond ATC. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The only thing left here is we would get our taxi instructions, which uh, I'm sure we'll be getting here shortly as soon as I clear out here. Um, I'll announce that we vacated. But uh, as always, guys, I hope you guys American enjoyed the video. American 603, contact ground 130.0. Have a good one. Let AI Mike talk one more time. Contact ground 130.0, American 603. See you. Anyways, so as always, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.